please welcome to the show, Sonia Curry. Congratulations on the book. I have it right here beside me. Um, I saw you wiping away those tears in the post, holding the book. <laughs> Tell me why that moment brought you to tears. Well, I'm gonna try not to cry again. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess it's just a lot of emotions, it's just all wrapped up together. You know, it's it it is a new start for me, and um, I'm I'm sharing stories that people have never heard before. So I'm very vulnerable. Uh, I'm finding out a lot about myself that I'm not really as thick-skinned as I thought I was, because I worry yeah. really about what people are going to say, what impact the book is going to have. Um, on other people and um, you know first and foremost I want to please God with you know telling the stories because of the life that he's blessed me to have and I want to you know make my family proud I think you know nothing can fully prepare you to share your entire life right um, at the time that you were sharing it we know it was a difficult time and I actually remember reading um, Steph did an interview with um, The Ringer, and he said of the divorce, he called it challenging, saying that he could be mad, but the calmness he has inside himself is because of the two of you, right? And so you're dealing with your transition to the future life that you want, but also looking at your family, which is part of the book. When you heard him say, I could be mad, but the calmness I got from both of these people how did you feel um, hearing that reaction from him and I'm sure your other two children? Well, at, at first I was saddened because, yes, I know that this isn't something easy for anybody. And I listened to, you know, Chris earlier just saying it's hard. This is a hard thing. And to feel like you cause other people pain in any situation is difficult. So for me to find a way to process that, that I could have caused pain to someone else. Yeah. Um, but then also I was just happy and um, fulfilled to know that the parenting and all the love and the nurturing that we've poured into our children is coming out that way and yeah. he's able to express that just made me so proud because now yeah. it's like they're giving to me everything i poured into them <laughs> is coming back to me full fold and it's such a blessing you've been such a rock for your family and, and we watch from afar and you've always handled yourself um so uh, regally I, I'll, I'll be honest you always have this regal presence <laughs> and and you talk about your faith Thank um, you. being a big part of it. When you are forced to read negative headlines that assign blame about why your personal marriage has ended, right? It's between two people, but then there are these headlines that drag other folks in. How do you lean on your faith when you hear things or read things that A, aren't anyone else's business, but also B, don't define you? Well, I started even with raising the children that we wouldn't purchase the newspaper when Dell was playing because because of that. You know, one day they love you and one day, you know, they're tearing you down and criticizing you. So, you know, we've raised them to stay even kill, next play, and just focus on what they're in control of. And so I've tried to do the exact same thing. I don't listen to a lot of the social media. If something kind of leaks, it gets to me and sneaks in, then, you know, I just take it to prayer and try to leave it with God and focus on what I can focus on and, um, you know, take accountability for the things. If there's something in there that's, you know, truthful, then I try to take accountability for that and um, just get better. Just wake up every day and lean into, you know, what my book is titled, Fierce Love. A lot of grace and a lot of mercy every day for myself. And then yeah. I can give that to other people as well. So, and, and relying on my children. As long as I know the people that I love know the truth, then I can, you know, lean on that as well.